Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. How are you doing? Just in case you missed it, I uploaded two videos yesterday at hugotalks.com, not available on YouTube. One about Extinction Rebellion and the guy on GMB talking about pets. And then later last night, a video about this guy and the release of a billion genetically modified mosquitoes. So check them out if you haven't already and come and subscribe to hugotalks.com to get notifications of all new videos as many of them are not uploaded here anymore. So today we see this in the fake stream media NHS app to be used as jib jab passport for international travel. Grant Shapps confirms. The Transport Secretary tells Sky News he will soon set out details of which countries have made it onto a green list, blah, blah, blah. In terms of vaccine certification, I can confirm we are working uh, on uh, an NHS uh, application. Actually, it will be the actual app. It will be the, the NHS app that is used um, for people when they book appointments with the NHS and so on, uh, to be able to show that you've had a vaccine or that you've had testing. And I'm working internationally with partners across the world uh, to make sure that that system can be internationally recognized. It was only a couple of months ago, these so-called politicians were saying there was not going to be one. Look, I hate to say it, this is what I was saying weeks ago, although it doesn't state exactly the track and trace app specifically what else is it going to be that's the app they have spent billions on and there were all of these headlines weren't there saying oh what a waste of money believing that it wasn't going to be used for anything but tracking and tracing so you know i did say they would take the track and trace app the one they have been encouraging people to use to check in to go shopping or to check in to sit outside a pub it looks like they will update it so it then becomes the passport. And I've said before many times that the plan is for it to become a 24 seven surveillance social credit system, the hub of all your financial transactions. In the future cashless world, they are already planning a digital ID, a sort of uh, one app to rule them all, to quote the Lord of the Rings. That's the way I look at it, an app to really control you completely with the power to switch off your ability to access services, finances, and more at the flick of a switch. I mean, if you people out there in the majority accept this, I mean, you are really going to give away your freedoms. And here we see Michael Gove. This is the Michael Gove who said live on Sky News, when asked, will there be a vaccine passport? He said, Four months ago, he said, no, absolutely not. No freedom passports, oh no. And here he is now bumping elbows in Israel. Unbelievable. British minister visits Jerusalem to learn about Israeli Green Pass. So it seems like many other countries like Ireland, the UK are planning on following the Israel blueprint, which is a situation where society in Israel has been split down the middle although the fake stream media don't focus on it but what you have is half the population with these green passports and the other half without and those without are ostracized not allowed to access schools hospitals their jobs the shops and even those who have got the green passport the last thing i heard was that the parents who had had the jab and had got the green passport were being told if they didn't allow their kids now to get the jab that they would take their passports away so you know look is is that the kind of society you want to be living in no i know i don't it's very simple all you have to say is no to it you just don't download the app you don't use it you don't accept it it won't work if nobody accepts it it's really that simple People need to be united about this. Okay, I will be doing some more spicier videos later today. One about India, hopefully, which won't be on here. It will only be on hugotalks.com. So look out for them and come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com, trying to build a community of like-minded souls who are trying to make sense out of all of this madness that is going on. See you later.